Hey guys, welcome back to The X-Files. This is still season one, episode 19. This one is called Shapes. I know quite a few shapes, but I'm not sure if the shapes that I'm thinking of are going to be in this episode. I don't think it's going to be about circles and squares and hearts and triangles. Let's just get started and see what this one is about. Oh, taxidermy. A hunter. He is an old hunting man. And his son. They better not come back to life. <laughs> What's that? That was just a very faint shadowy outline in that barn. Oh. Hang on, what? Hang on, what? I have to watch that again. What? That's the the man and the creature. The guy shoots. The old guy shoots. He's going to the young man. He looks over at the creature and it's not a creature anymore. It's a human. At least that's how I interpret it. By killing that beast, has he taken the beastiness of him away and has revealed the human underneath? Or is the person that was laying dead on the ground someone else that works there on their farm? I don't really know. <laughs> That's very strange. This one is very odd. That creature is extremely scary looking as well. You people think I went and killed me an Indian just because we're having an argument about where my land ends and their land begins. Well, Joseph Goodensnake is dead with a wound from your shotgun to indicate otherwise. Oh. But it damn well didn't seem human neither that night. It was dark. When we heard a growl, we went out there to protect the cattle and nobody was more shocked and upset than I was to find out it was that young Indian boy. Mm. But if he was the one that was killing our cattle, I'm very, very sorry that we had to find out about it that way. But as far as I'm concerned, that's the end of it. So that creature that we saw at the beginning inside of him, when he's not the creature, is just a regular young man that uh, the old rancher he's fighting with over land jurisdictions and boundaries by the sound of it. But I definitely agree with the old man here. Don't know how the fellow has the ability to transform himself into a beast, but he certainly does. Or he did. I think he's dead now. The last few months, whenever we'd go outside at night and check on the cattle, never saw anything out of the ordinary. But I could feel it. Something not human out there watching me. It was like nature herself was terrified. I don't know if Scully's buying any of that. You know, I'm surprised you volunteered for this assignment. Why are you interested? Why exactly? They are some big feet with big toes. This is why he's interested. I think he's heard about this before. Wow. Look at that shape. This is exactly why he's interested. Well, there seems to be nothing unexplainable about this case. <laughs> Thing. What's that? So when the young fellow got shot, the beast shed that outer skin to reveal the human form on the inside. How? How? We're looking for any individuals who might be able to provide information on the homicide of. We're looking Goodness for Snake. anything that can create human tracks in one step and animal tracks in the next. Parker, he found what you're looking for. He killed. What you're looking for, FBI. Mm. What Parker and his kid killed was my brother. And you're all too afraid of some stupid Indian legend to do anything. I hate it. Take what? a look at that scar tissue. Yeah. Mm. Maybe the Parkers did see an animal. No. Those wounds have been healing for quite some time. The shotgun wound indicates point blank range. We're going to need to take a look at Joe Goodensnake's dental records. <gasps> oh. They have some nice teeth. Well, there are 
cases of calcium phosphate salts that are developing abnormally with age. But oh, that please. That could have what Jim Parker claims to have seen. Do you have a facility where we can perform an autopsy? Well, if Joe's teeth are abnormal, an autopsy might reveal abnormalities in the interior of his anatomy as well. No, I can't let you do an autopsy. The funeral is tonight. Trigos believe that the recent dead are unsettled by their new condition as spirits. Any desecration at the body angers the spirit and keeps it haunting this world. Mm -hmm. But you're a law enforcement officer. You can't destroy evidence. They want Joe at rest rather than use as a piece of evidence. That's the way it's going to be. At this moment, I am wondering if they are going to go behind his back and sneak back here at night time and take a look at it then. The sheriff seems somewhat helpful, but then somewhat not. He doesn't seem to want to give Mulder and Scully what they are looking for at all for religious personal beliefs maybe that's just a cover maybe he knows exactly what john gooden snake was and what happened to him i mean those teeth surely everyone in this town knew about that it's only a small little community Everyone in this community would have known about those teeth, but the sheriff is not surprised or questioning that at all. So I think he's definitely known about it. This one is going to be very hard to get answers from, but I think John's sister is going to be one of the people that is more willing to give more information to Mulder and Scully. They are just going right ahead with it. I thought they well, would have done that in secret. Here, you've acted as if you've expected to find every piece of evidence that we've come across. Why aren't you telling me? Yeah, he knows about this. The very first X-File, initiated by J. Edgar Hoover himself in 1946. Wow. Each victim was basically ripped to shreds and eaten as if by a wild animal. In 1946, police cornered what they believed to be such an animal in a cabin. They shot it, but when they went in to retrieve the carcass, they found only the body of Richard Watkins. Mulder, what this, what this folder describes is called lycanthropy. It's a type of insanity in which an individual believes that he can turn into a wolf. But it's I mean, not just no a belief. One can physically change into an animal. We saw it, though. We saw it, and the farmers saw it. It kind of makes me think that it it's not going to end here, at all, with John. If they burn his body, Scully thinks that that's the end of it. I mean, she doesn't believe that it's anything other than someone thinking they saw something. But there's all that evidence, the shedded skin, the footprints, the fangs. She has just ignored that and looked beyond it for some strange reason. Well, Scully's reason. I can't explain it either, but we saw the big scars on John's chest. I think maybe what happens is that the creature attacks and kills a person and then the person lives sort of inside that creature. Uh, so the creature uses the human as a host. But then I'm not convinced that when the creature got shot and John was left there, that the creature has gone away. Actually, you know what? We did see the farmer with similar scratches. I wonder if the creature is now going to inhabit the farmer. This is just my wild guesses. No idea. What do you think really happened? Your explanation, Agent Mulder, is lying on that burial platform. Why don't you just accept that and go home? Mm. Charlie, do you believe in shape-shifting? This is a funeral. That was actually a little bit inappropriate, I have to say. It is a funeral. It's not the time or the place to be having those discussions. Hi. It's one of the farmers. Will they welcome him here, or will they want to get rid of him? Get out of here! Mm. Please, I just want to show my respect. I want your heart to grow cold. I want you to feel what I'm feeling! He doesn't mean any malice, but he probably shouldn't have turned up. Now this is what I'm interested in seeing. What happens with this, with the old farmer? That thing's gonna be here. I just have this feeling it's gonna come rushing in. Let's grab him. 
So I think that the creature is now going to take over the old man. Hang on, no. That's the man's body there. Okay, wrong. The way the body's been mutilated, I'd say he's been attacked by a large predator. Have you talked to Gwen Goodensnake? She seemed pretty upset last night. She's gone. Nobody's seen her since the funeral. Oh. Put an APB out on her. And what about Lyle Parker? We can't find him either. Okay, I've got thoughts. I've got thoughts. I think that the sister, John's sister, also has this shape-shifting predator creature ability and it was her that's done that to the old man she has it's her creature or herself in that form that has retaliated to that old man and I think there's more of them I don't actually actually could it just be the family their family together that shares that I don't know if they have any other family she did say that they didn't she may be the la uh, the last in that line of creatures that is a big chunk of hair and more skin what's that hang on that's the young farmer oh, I thought he was dead he's okay I thought it was over is that why you wouldn't allow an autopsy on Joe Goodensnake's body? You thought it would all end when he was cremated? I picked up some bourbon and, and I don't remember a thing after oh. that. Just watch him. Does you know, he know that he's dead? Dead. I have an, uh, an image of him sitting on the front porch, but I don't remember talking to him why. Hang on. What? Your father's dead. Lyle, this young farmer has an image of him sitting on the front porch which was exactly how we saw the father last but it's not lyle that did it he can't turn into those creatures those animals can he <laughs> i don't know this is really fascinating i sense you're a different fbi you're more open to native american belief than some native americans <laughs> you even have an indian name fox <laughs> He should be running fox or stinky fox. <laughs> Just as long as it's not spooky fox. <laughs> that Watkins had been attacked by what the Algonquins call a manito, an evil spirit capable of changing a man into a beast. To be attacked by a manito causes the victim to become one. Mm. If Joe Goodensnake was this creature, then perhaps it didn't originate in him by the first attack but was handed down through the bloodlines. This means Gwen could have it also. Gwen could have killed Parker. The sister. Oh! Gwen! I saw it kill Parker. I went there after the funeral. I was gonna mess up the kid. But Parker was on the porch. I believe her. So then it, it must be the, the boy. The boy himself. Because that creature has no idea what it's doing. He could have easily killed his father when he was the, the, the creature. I received a blood test performed on Lyle Parker, and there's something rather unsettling. Traces of his father's blood type can only be there through ingestion. It is Lyle, the young farmer. So interesting. I would never have thought that. I, I, I love how it makes us think one thing when it's really something else entirely. And this is another situation that Scully has herself in that is extremely dangerous. Lyle, let me come in. Is Lyle, he trying I want to, take you back to, to the hospital, okay? not no. have this occur? Be all right. Does he know what it's about to happen? Maybe that's why, maybe he's trying to trap himself in the bathroom because Lyle. he knows how dangerous it could Lyle, be. Lyle, answer me. My gosh don't you do that that is not safe i think he's, he's locked himself in there on purpose to save her <laughs> that is disgusting that's the skin that gets shedded just in time so what ha is it is Mulder gonna have to kill lyle 
They'll have to kill him. And then what happens? Where's Scully? Why is she? Why is there no sound? What's happening? There's no noise. You, you, you would think that you would be able to hear Lyle groaning. Oh, wow. <gasps> Where's Scully then? Maybe she's locked herself in, in a room. No, he can just break down the door. Whoa. <laughs> Bit jumpy there, Mulder. Good job. And then that'll just be Lyle on the floor. He's dead, right? Oh my god. Yeah. He was in the bathroom, sick, and then the next thing I knew, we were attacked by the mountain lion. It wasn't the mountain lion, Scully. It's still in a cage out back. How will she explain this one away? I'm really curious. She and a bug. Thank you. <laughs> I hope not. Still out there. I thought that one was really good. Something I actually liked about that was that it was so different to what you would think it would be. Like, it was probably set up so that it would be like John's the beast, then his sister is that same beast. I really love that it wasn't that at all. It was Lyle. And that just really brings home to me just so much more than having it be the direction that you think it was going to go in. It's just so much more interesting and exciting when it's totally different from what you think it would be. So that beast, uh, the Manitou, I think they refer to it as. I love at the end how um, that older gentleman was saying, see you in eight years. I mean, obviously referencing the fact that it's just not over, but I don't know how else it would come back and through who, I don't know. This one, I, I liked it. It was sort of classically werewolfy, it but but with that twist at the end there where it's not who you think it's going to be and it's somebody else. So I think that really helped to set it apart from just being a standard sort of werewolf kind of tale. So it did have that extra little element. I liked this one. It wasn't anything you know, amazing. It was just uh, a regular X-Files episode, but they, I, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was really interesting and exciting. And I just love that twist at the end too. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. It was called Shapes. We are quite way through the season now, which is very exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this season wraps up. I think I still have like six episodes to go so a few more weeks to go but I would be so proud and just so happy to get to the end of an entire season of the X-Files I think that's going to be so exciting and I hope by that time I get to the end of the season we will have reached 500 subscribers here hopefully so that we can finally have like a little community tab so I can finally post things here I mean it's just so cool watching it grow slowly and I just it's really nice here just with a small selection of people it's just really lovely I'm having a really nice time you know, discovering how to start a channel up from the beginning again. And it's just so fun. And thank you guys so much for being here and, you know, for spending time with me in two different places. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon in the next X-Files. Bye.